Hey, what's going on, guys? Just figured I'd bring another video here. Look at that. Two in one week. Well, barely one week, but... You, well, actually, technically, it won't be in one week, because I'd probably be up by tomorrow, so... I guess we can say two in one month. I mean, it's not like I haven't done that before, but anyway. So, okay. Gonna be doing an unboxing today, and what's in this box actually goes kind of hand-in-hand -hand to the transmitter I unboxed um, yesterday. Um, I'm going to be doing a ZMR250 quadcopter build. Now, this is going to be interesting because of the fact that, one, I've never built a quadcopter before, <laughs> and two, my soldering skills are, well, subpar at best. I mean, they're okay. I've done a few uh, small repairs to stuff that I've owned. Or that I have, rather. Not that I've owned. That I still have it. You know. Anyway. But, um, so yeah. This is going to be an unboxing of that. And, uh, I'll probably do, uh, progress videos. I'm not going to do a full build video because I don't expect it to be very easy. And I don't expect it to be perfect. Because, well, again, no one's perfect. I've said that in previous videos as well. So anyway, let's get to, uh, unboxing it real quick. Well, hopefully it'll be quick, so we'll find out, won't we? Uh, that's the other way, I think. Yep. So, here we go. So, as you guys can see, we've got uh, some stuff in this box, obviously. Not sure why I said that, but, uh... So, anyway. we got the first ESC. There's four of them. Hence the fact that it's a quadcopter. They're all the same. Yeah. As you can see, I would hope they'd be all the same. If they weren't, that'd be awkward. Uh, somehow, not really sure how it would be, but it would be. One way or the other. Oops, knocked in the tripod. Nice job. Nice job on my part. Here's the frame itself. And I will be opening, opening these up. Probably have to pause the video to do that. Actually, stop the video because I can't pause this camera. I have to stop it. So I'll have to splice it in editing. So that ought to be great. But whatever. But here's all the hardware. As you guys can see, the mounting hardware and then the post that you put the, in between the top and the bottom plate and stuff like that. So, yep. Here's a set of blades. These are carbon fiber. At least I think they are. They look like they're carbon fiber. I got this off of eBay from a. Uh, I can't remember the uh, seller's name. I'll put it in the uh, either I'll put it in the video or I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the description for sure. But if you guys want to check them out, my roommate actually. Uh, no, actually, that's the inspiration to this. Is my roommate actually built one? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. Give myself a fighting chance with this. I don't know what I'm talking. Anyway, <laughs> but here's the uh, flight controller. Uh, this is supposed to be a clone of the Naze 32. This is not a Naze 32. This is actually a Flight 32 Plus. Flight. Not, sorry. A Flip 32 Plus. I don't know where, I, where the heck I got Flight from. Maybe I'm thinking about flying it. I don't know. I am thinking about flying it. I'm actually looking forward to doing that. If everything goes according to plan. Yeah, we'll see about that. But uh, here's the power distribution board. Uh, power distribution board. I still can't say that right. Power distribution board there we go so yeah that's that and um yeah so that's that and then of course i keep knocking on the trap it's like right next to me so yeah sorry about that guys and then of course we've got uh four emacs brushless motors 22 uh i believe it no 2300 kb sorry as you can see it on the back right here uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So, yeah. I don't know if these are the exact same one that my, uh... This isn't the same exact quadcopter that my, uh, my roommate slash my best friend. He's also my best friend. It's not just somebody I randomly decided to... You guys probably don't care. But anyway, it's not, it's not something I, you know, I didn't just randomly shack up with a dude. I just, you know... He's my best friend. I've known him for like probably over 11 years now. He's the in the, he's in my video of a really early video where uh, he made the MRE bomb and stuff like that. It's the same dude. But anyway, yeah, I digress. Sorry about that. 
Here's the uh, here's one of the other motors. Same thing. They're all exactly the same. So I don't think I need to show them all off, but uh, so yeah. So let me uh, unwrap all this stuff. Well, I'll unwrap the frame pieces. The uh, ESCs I probably won't unwrap right now because I'm not going to be really putting anything together. Maybe probably the frame a little bit of it. But uh, so yeah, let me uh, go ahead and do that, and I will, you know, get get the frame unwrapped, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got all the parts laid out, as you can see. Um, you got your two bottom plates here. You got your four your four uh, prop arms, the feet for the prop arms themselves. A lot of people don't use them. I'm probably going to use them just to see how I like them. I'll go from there. Got your Mobius dampener mounts there, and you got the frame posts, and then you got the hardware for the frame post itself. And this is your top plate. This is the Mobius. Uh, camera mount and this is your FPV camera mount and in this box right here got the motor uh, show you guys that real quick so I got the motor right here keep knocking the tripod every time every time I move I swear that's what happens got the motor obviously the wire coming off the motor and then you got the hardware for the mo uh, motor uh, there is um, short and long uh short and long screws in here so you got to pay attention to you know uh the length of your screws you know based on the thickness of your arms and stuff like that so that you don't end up touching the windings inside the motor because that's not going to be good and you got a little allen key uh to adjust stuff and also to tighten on your uh your uh little prop uh washer here I'll take the motor out so you guys can see it a little bit more clearly. As you guys can see, it's an Emacs. The model is MT2204 dash, sorry about that, I'm trying to get the light on it, dash 2300 kV, which obviously denotes 2300 kV. Uh, and you can see the little uh, a pro uh, prop uh, washer there, and then you can see the uh, three wires. Now, the one thing I'm a little disappointed with is the listing that I got this from. It said that they came with two two millimeter bullet connectors, both on the ESC and the motors, which is not the case, as you can clearly see. But uh, you know, and the other thing I noticed is that. It also said that the uh, flight controller came with an ES, uh, came with an ESC, <laughs> came, you know, in a case, and it didn't come in a case. Um, so yeah, I, I did message I did message the uh, seller about that because, you know, the, the listing is not accurate because it doesn't, you know, it's not exactly what I was expecting. I don't know, you guys are probably thinking, well, Joe, really. Called soldering stuff, and you know, honestly, get some standoffs. I, mean, I could do that. Yeah, I probably will, but I don't know. I just I basically just want to bring it to his attention. Even if he doesn't, you know, feel like doing something about it, I, if worse comes to worse, as, as I said, I'll just buy some uh, nylon spacers and you know the nuts that come with them and. Uh, you know, basically just solder this, you know, stuff, you know, solder the wires for the ESC and the motors together, and, well, then call it a day, I guess. But, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is, if you get these from eBay, you got to understand that these are cheap, and they're basically from China. Um, so, you're going to see, right here, that uh, they're not going to be perfect. And I'll show you why I say that right here. You can see the milling is not perfect, and if you actually... If you watch um, RC Model Review's video, you'll actually see when he, because he buys, uh, I think, a few sets of these, and he, you know, mentions the uh, quality control on these, and uh, you can see it's not perfect. But you know what? I'm not too worried about that, because, honestly, these are just zip-tie mounts anyway, as far as I'm aware of. And uh, as far as the holes go for the mounting and stuff like that, they're not that bad, as you can see. They're really not that bad. 
Um, but as far as the tie downs for the for the uh, zip ties or the tie down points, I should say, you can see they're not that great. But you know what? You get what you pay for. Um, if you get like a blackout or something like that, you're not going to see that. But um, honestly, it's not. It's gonna be. It's my first quadcopter build. I'm not worried about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day.